So we're going to talk about another form of stability, and Valerie is saying it right now. We're going to talk about bounded input, bounded output. We also just call it BIBO, stability. And this is what we're, the stability we're going to look at for closed loop systems. And remember, now we're working with closed loops. So we have a plant system, and we're feeding something back. We're closing this loop and feeding it back into, through a controller, eventually to the system. So if you remember our other definitions, before we talked about three types of stability. We talked about, we said stable, we meant asymptotic, asymptotically stable. So that means as time goes to infinity, our system will maybe move around, but eventually go to zero. And unstable means that as time goes to infinity, our function will also go off into infinity. And marginally stable was somewhere in between. So it would be, could be oscillating at some constant rate, or it could be some constant non-zero value. And these were when we're looking at our plant. And we can call this the natural response. So this is natural response of the system. So in here, we only considered it stable, and I say that because really we mean asymptotically stable if it was this first condition. These two, marginally stable, the word is misleading, but we don't consider this to be asymptotically stable. So usually when we said just stable, we meant asymptotically stable. But now we're working with full systems. So the natural response is still, you can kind of describe it in these ways, but when we have this control system, there's also a forced response, and that can be a non-zero value. So our system can still be stable even if it doesn't go to zero necessarily. And if you think about it, in our system, our input is going to be some, some V ref, or sorry, Y ref, and our output, we don't want it necessarily to go to zero. We want it to follow this reference. So we have to think about what stability really means and what is a how do we want the system to act? And what is a well-behaved system? So now we have to think about, we're going to define BIBO, so bounded input, bounded output stability. And the basic idea is that, so if it is uh, BIBO stable, it means that every bounded input yields a bounded output. And it's important that we are emphasizing every single one. So if there's just one signal that creates an unbounded output, we do not qualify for being BIBO stable. Okay? And on the contrary, not BIBO stable. means that there is some, any, any bounded input may result in an unbounded output. And this, if you just think about it intuitively, if we put something constant in, we don't want something to go off into infinity. We want it to kind of maintain stability within a certain region. So this is a very nice uh, definition for stability for systems. And we're going to use the systems when we apply it to our closed loop transfer functions. And luckily, we're also just able to look at the poles. And if they're in the left half plane, we know they're stable. Um, so we'll do a little bit more analysis on this. But this is a definition of bounded input, bounded output stability. And that's, yeah, that's it.